in the warmest day of the week, but Roland says hmm. a yeah. storm will cool us off a bit. Just a little bit tomorrow, but wow, temperature readings today have so far topped out at 60 five degrees. That is amazing. And the folks up at the top of Sun Valley right now are saying it feels an awful lot like spring skiing out here. Now notice we're getting some of those high clouds starting to move in as we speak, courtesy of the storm that's starting to move in from the West Coast. Now it's going to take another, I'd say, six or seven hours before the leading edge of the storm starts moving into eastern Oregon and then eventually into the Treasure Valley. This is not a very big storm. It's going to be fairly fast moving and it's not going to be a washout for us on Saturday. Look at the high temperature we had so far today, 65 degrees. There's the record of 66 degrees set back in 1950. It's possible that we could end up tying or surpassing the record high temperature and the average for this time of the year is 49 degrees. So we have two storms that I'm watching right now. This is the first storm. This is Saturday's storm. It comes in bright and early in the morning. Then there's a second system developing out here in the Pacific Ocean. It too is going to be following suit, but it's probably going to hold off until Sunday night before it finally moves in. So we'll say that the best chance of showers for Saturday is going to be bright and early, probably pre dawn through the early morning hours. And then by noon, I really think this system is going to come in. It's going to do its thing and it's going to be gone. Here's the confirmation on the computer models right now. Advancing this to tomorrow morning, right around six to seven o'clock. That's the core of the storm moving through valley rain with a little rain snow mix expected for the mountains. Now what happens right around noon? The storm is already moving off into southeastern Idaho, so by noon I think we start to see drier conditions, and then by the afternoon we'll probably start seeing some sunshine. So if you do have any plans that require outdoor activities, I would say that tomorrow afternoon is going to be your better chance. And then here comes the leading edge of that next system. It's not going to be much of a storm, but it may generate just a few more showers Sunday night into early, early Monday morning. So seven day forecast for the Treasure Valley, 55 degrees for the high tomorrow. Best chance of showers will be bright and early and then we go dry. And here comes that next system late Sunday night into early Monday. And then we'll just kind of dry things out with another potential for a storm toward the end of next week. What about the mountains? I think it's going to be a rain snow mix for the mountains. It doesn't look like a very cold storm, but I think the best potential for those showers will be early. And then that next system comes in late also for the mountains, late Sunday into early Monday, but then Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday looks fairly dry. What about the ski report? Well, we're talking about a 52 inch base now at Bogus Basin, 63 inches at Brundage. Do I think the ski resorts will see some snow? Yeah, probably up on top, but not so much at the bases. Might be a little soggy. The good news is that, again, the storm should pretty much be done. So if you have plans to go skiing tomorrow, I think by 10, 11 o'clock in the morning, everything's going to be just fine. Pomerel has a 102 inch base with 114 at the top. Grant Targhee has an 88 inch base with Soldier Mountain, now has a 60 inch base. So we are losing a little bit of snow don't think these storms are going to do much to replenish that, but you know, it's the way it is. Yeah. Yeah. But all in all, I think it's going to be a nice weekend. And we'll look for another yeah. storm another time. All right. Okay.